On this week's elevator part project, we're taking a look at this Dover Vandal Resistant Call Station. From the front, it appears to be just like any other Vandal Resistant style button. However, if we turn it to the back, you can see that these are actually the same base as Dover Impulse, and they press just like them too. So if I pull one of these bases off, you can see here that the actual base itself is the same as Dover Impulse. However, the little frame that holds the actual button in place is a bit different. It's a bit bigger and, well, it doesn't hold a button in there. It's just a little spacer. So the base itself isn't anything new. It's just like any other impulse base. It's got the little lamp socket as well. As for the actual button, you can see two pieces are being held in by these little rings. So you have the frame and then the actual button piece. So there's not really a whole lot to see here, but it is kind of interesting how this works. And here you can see how the cover sits onto the button. So wiring this is going to be just like any other Dover impulse button, specifically an intermediate. This one has one contact per button, so we'll be using that micro switch. And we also need to remove the lamps and make some lower voltage bulbs to use in the project. However, if you want to run this with the voltage that the bulbs are, that works as well. So for my lights, I'm going to be using these custom 3D printed lamp holders. Now obviously most of you probably don't have access to these, so you can actually create your very own low voltage LEDs out of the old LEDs by taking the original LED out and then putting a new one in. And I demonstrated this in one of my other videos, but the same idea works for this as well. So here's my completed wiring, and you'll notice I used connectors to hook everything together. It makes everything really easy, pretty much plug and play, so I highly recommend it. If you want a wiring schematic for this so you can do it yourself, if you head to the link in the description to my website, I have a little schematic there and a little bit more info about this if you want to wire one of these for yourself. So that's pretty much it for this wiring video. There's not really a whole lot to these buttons because they're basically just over impulse. They have the same bases, just a different button cap. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it, and we'll see you guys on the next project.